Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'll show you how to install Zorin OS 18 from start to finish, step by step. Even if you've never installed Linux before, we'll cover everything from downloading Zorin, creating a bootable USB, and installing it on your PC. So grab your USB drive and let's get started. First, let's make sure your PC can run Zorin OS 18. The minimum requirements are pretty light. CPU, 1 gigahertz, dual core processor or better RAM, at least 2 gigabytes. Storage, at least 15 gigabytes of free space for core USB, 8 gigabytes or larger for installation. And of course, an internet connection for updates. Zorin OS comes in a few different versions. Let's quickly go through them so you pick the right one. Zorin OS Pro. This one is paid and includes premium desktop layouts that mimic Mac OS, Windows 11, and Ubuntu, along with extra professional-grade apps and support from the Zorin team. Zorin OS Core. This is the standard version, perfect for everyday users. It comes with all the essential apps and a Windows-like interface and Zorin OS Education includes everything from core plus extra educational tools and learning software ideal for students and schools. In this tutorial, I'll be using Zorin OS 18 core, but the installation steps are exactly the same for all versions. To download Zorin OS 18, open your browser and go to the download page. Scroll down to find your edition. I'm choosing Zorin OS 18 Core. Click download and it will save an ISO file. That's the image we'll use to install the system. Next, we need to create a bootable USB drive so we can install Zorin OS on our computer. To do that, we'll use a free tool called Rufus. Go to rufus.ie and download the latest version. After downloading Rufus and the ISO file, start by opening Rufus. Once Rufus is open, plug in your USB drive. Make sure it's at least eight gigabytes because everything on it will be erased. Under device, select your USB drive. Under boot selection, click select and choose the Zorin OS 18 ISO you downloaded. Now, before you click Start in Rufus, you'll notice something called Partition Scheme. It gives you two options, an MBR and GPT. Here's the quick rule of thumb. Choose MBR if your computer uses legacy BIOS or an older system. Choose GPT, if your computer uses UEFI, which most modern computers do. If you're not sure which one your PC uses, don't worry if your PC came with Windows 10 or 11, it is definitely GPT. In short, newer PCs equals GPT, older PCs equals MBR. Simple as that. Click Start. Rufus will create the bootable drive in a few minutes. Once it's done, close Rufus and safely remove the USB. One more thing before we boot into Zorin OS. Make sure Secure Boot is turned off in your BIOS or UEFI settings. Some systems block Linux installers when Secure Boot is enabled, so it's best to disable it first. Just restart your PC, press your BIOS key, usually F2, delete, or escape, then find Secure Boot under the Boot or Security tab and set it to Disabled. Once that's done, save your changes and you're ready to boot from your USB. Mine is already disabled, so we'll boot to the USB now. Insert the USB drive into the computer where you want to install it and reboot. As, as your computer starts, press the boot menu key, usually F12, F9, or Escape, depending on your brand. 
From the list, select your USB drive and press Enter. Zorin OS will boot into a menu with a few options. Try and install Zorin OS. This is the normal option most people should pick. It lets you test Zorin OS and install it on your PC using standard drivers. Try and install Zorin OS Safe Graphics. Um, Choose this if your screen goes black, uh, flickers, or doesn't display properly. It uses basic video drivers that work on almost all systems. Try and install Zorin OS modern NVIDIA drivers. If you have a new NVIDIA graphics card, this option automatically loads the latest compatible NVIDIA drivers during setup. For most people, just select Try and install Zorin OS and hit Enter, and you're good to go. Once Zorin OS loads up, you'll see the installation window, and the first thing it asks is to choose your language. Go ahead and pick the language you want. After that, you'll see two main options. Try Zorin OS. This lets you run Zorin directly from the USB without installing it. It's perfect if you just want to test things out or make sure everything works before installing. Install Zorin OS, this is the real installation option. It will guide you through setting up Zorin permanently on your hard drive. Uh, so if you're ready to make Zorin uh, your main operating system, click Install Zorin OS to continue. Select your keyboard layout. Choose whether to install updates and third-party software. I recommend enabling both, but if you have a slow internet connection or you're now on a metered connection, you can skip updates, the first option, and install them later when the system is installed. Choose the first option if you want to install Zorin alongside Windows, but if you want a proper dual boot, please watch the video in the description on how to properly install Zorin alongside Windows. But this video is about making Zorin your only OS on your PC. For example, when you want to get rid of Windows 10, so select Erase Disk and install Zorin OS Select your drive. This will erase everything on your drive. The other drive is my USB disk. The installer will automatically create the necessary partitions for you. You'll see two main partitions listed, ESP, EFI system partition, this small partition, usually around 100 to 500 megabytes, stores boot files that let your computer start Zorin OS. It's required for modern UEFI systems. X4 partition, this is where Zorin OS itself will be installed. Your system files, apps, and personal data all live here. The installer handles this setup automatically, so you don't need to manually create or adjust these partitions unless you're an advanced user. Pick your time zone and then create your username and password. Once you're done, click Continue and Zorin OS will start copying files. This usually takes about 10 to 20 minutes depending on your system. If you want to see what is happening, click the small arrow icon. When the installation finishes, click on Restart Now and remove the USB drive when it asks you, you'll now boot into Zorin OS 18 for the first time.
the welcome screen will appear, letting you adjust your appearance, connect online accounts, and update your system. Watch the video in the description that explains about the new features in Zorin 18 and another that explains if Zorin OS is the best Windows alternative for you. And that's it. You've successfully installed Zorin OS 18 from start to finish. I hope this video helped you set up Zorin OS without any issues. If you found it useful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Linux and Windows customization tutorials. See you in the next video.